Hey, it's Rhonda, and I'm back with my second part of the haul video from the Snowpocalypse. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go through things really fast. I've got a little bit more of the hard goods I'm going to do on the front end and then show you some of the clothing that I got in a three-day haul at the bin store before all of our snow came in here. And so a lot of this stuff, I don't even remember buying it, you know, because it's been almost two weeks ago since I bought it and put it in my trunk. And I haven't been able to get it out of the trunk because I couldn't get it down my own driveway. So one thing I bought, um, I got all of this, like I said, at the bin store. It's $1.79 a pound for the things that they weigh out. And then if they're things like um, this little bag or whatever, um, usually they'll charge a dollar to two dollars for something like that. And I'll tell you if it's anything that's significantly different than that. Um, most of the clothing is going to cost me a dollar or less. Um, I've got Miss Daisy that I'm driving right now, and so I grabbed this bag, and it's just one of the expandable little bags. And of course, it's got the white daisies on it that I love, and I'm going to put, believe it or not, my cassettes in there. She does. She's a 2000 Saturn, and so she's got a cassette deck, which is what I love because I buy all of those for a nickel or 10 cents or something like that. And I've got a lot of the country cavalcade and stuff like that, um, things from the Grand Ole Opry and all that. And I like to listen to all of that uh, type of music. And so I put a few of these in the car, and that way I'll have them in there for me. A um, couple of things that I dug out, these are just you know, little doodahs that I'll put on eBay or I'll put in my booth. Um, Disney always sells, so any of the little spoons and things like this, I'll usually gather up two or three and um, sell them in a set, you know, if they're matching ones. This is the Bunnikins. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been talking a lot today. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of a glare. Um... <coughs> I buy a lot of the 45s, even if they're like this, um, if they're in decent enough shape. <coughs> I hope I don't lose my voice. If I do, I'll be right back. <laughs> um, but I found one that was the Hollies. A uh, long, cool woman in a black dress. And I also found Ringo Star. I am going to get a drink. Let me put you on pause. So... If they can take a break at the big stations, I can here, right? <laughs> I don't want to be hacking and coughing all over it. It's a lot of dust and all of this. Like I said, it's been sitting. I always buy any of the Viewmaster type reels. Some of these are a little older than other ones. Some of them um, were made for a certain type of pop-up viewer. A lot of them are the cardboard like this. It's the Safari, um, Batman. If I can see some of them, Fox and Hound, Heidi, Peanuts, Mickey Mouse Jubilee. And I think I paid, if I remember right, I paid a dollar for the bag for those. Like I said, all of this came from the bin store. I bought a couple of boxes, and they're not complete, but I got some of the Legos. I got these for 50 cents a box, and I'll just take parts, you know, and part them out. This one's the... DC Comics, Superheroes, Justice League. I'll see how many pieces are in there and then kind of go from there. Um, my little boys, my little twins, like Legos. They got some for Christmas, so, you know, it might be even something that I just let them use. Let's see, I dug out several albums, like Jefferson Starship. Blondie. I always open them up, make sure everything's in there. Um, let's see. Jefferson Airplane. Like I said, this is a discovery for me, too. I don't remember what all was in here. Steely Dan, Jethro Tull, Pickles of Brick. And I've always got people at my estates or my this one's a double here, the Steely Dan. Um, I've got people at my booths and at my estate sales, and they like to buy those. And, you know, I get those for 50 cents a piece, and I get the um, 45 for a quarter a piece. So I try to buy them when I can. I thought this was just kind of funky. It's a, something that you put your coins in. You add, put your coins in the back. It's a little piano. Pennies from Heaven. Remember the Cary Grant movie? 
Pennies from Heaven. I think it was Cary Grant, wasn't it? I love that. But that'll go in my booth, you know, or one of my estate sales. If it doesn't sell in the booth over a couple of months, then I drag that, that kind of stuff. I've got an estate sale this weekend. It got snowed out. <laughs> Usually it's a rain out or a tornado out down here, but it actually got snowed and iced out. And I went on and I moved the date on it and um, moved it forward a weekend, which moved everything forward a weekend. It was all my vendors coming in to do bulk buys and it was my moving company because I've got to do a trash out on it. Uh, it all goes to the dump, unfortunately, but it all goes to the dump. Uh, if we don't sell it, so <laughs> I try to sell it and I try to give away as much as I can uh, do a free day and things like that But that moved all of that forward and I used to own a cleaning company and I'm also going to clean the house on this one I'm going to take in a little friend of mine. That's a waitress at um, one of the restaurants that I frequent and uh, She and I have struck up a friendship and she used to work in hospitality and I asked her did she want to earn some extra money? I can let her do the things like the vacuuming and things like that and I'll do some of the fluff cleaning but I owned a cleaning company for almost 20 years down here and I had a white glove cleaning company and so um, that's easy money for me you know that's gonna be another three hundred fifty four hundred dollars for a day's work so um, let's see I always like to get a lot of these little telltale books they sell in my booth Pinocchio Sleepy Puppy. Usually I'll read them to my kids or let them read them. You know, they're getting to the age that they can read a little bit. And all of the little golden books, some of the older ones, I pull those out. Pinocchio. We have Santa's Toy Shop, 12 Days of Christmas, things like that. You know, you give a quarter a piece, or like these little ones are 15 cents a piece or whatever, and I can sell them for a dollar, dollar and a half, something like that. See. On occasion, I'll buy things that are um, like music books and things. I don't do a lot of sheet music. I do um, if it's if it's certain things. Like for instance, if I know that the Orpheum here in town is going to have the Lion King or something like that, and I've got the musical score from it, I'm going to throw it into my booth. I'm going to get it for a quarter, you know, and sell it for five bucks or something like that. Um, I did go on and pick these up. This is Led Zeppelin Unplugged. I think this one, is this one unplugged or this one says unplugged? Eric Clapton, unplugged. These type of things are usually sell pretty decently. They're not high dollar, they're not $30 or anything like that, but there's something that's a good filler for a, a booth or an estate sale. Um, I was just going to flip through real quick. I found some albums, let's see, by Bread and the Carpenters, it looks like, Steve Miller Band. Please. So I got some decent albums out of it this time. I think I've probably got about 20 down here. Let's see. Oh, readjust. Sliding. I always buy a lot of the um, bathing suit tops. Even if I can't find the bottoms to it or whatever, I sell these all the time. Girls will match them up with bottoms that they've got from something else and make a whole new swimsuit out of it and they just don't weigh anything so you know you're looking at 30 cents into ten dollars eight to ten dollars something like that and of course I bought any of the swimsuits that I could find I bought several of them and they're in good shape I always check the bottom I always check the inside the crotch area you know make sure it's nice and clean of course I clean up anything that needs to be cleaned up I've shown in other videos, I always collect these, and I'll get about 20 or 25, and then I'll put them in a lot. Um, people make quilts out of them. They make jackets out of them. It's amazing what they make out of them. So I always pull those. And, of course, a lot of the little bras. I bought the bras again. More bathing suit tops. Whoop. That would hurt wearing it that way, wouldn't it? <laughs> little tops. Old style bathing suits. This one is the Body ID brand. I cut. You know, you're looking at the 80s here. 
I love stuff like that. Way sells. Sells fast too. Same brand. Another high cut. It's hard to tell. I don't know if you can tell or not. I can't tell really on my camera. Like I said, the lighting's poor and stuff. One is more of a neon orange, and this is more of like a red orange. This one. I always buy the dust bags. Let's see if I can adjust this a little. Probably not. Just bear with me. I buy the dust bags. They sell. You know, you're looking at anywhere from five to fifteen dollars a piece, depends on what they are. Okay, let's see if we can fly through this real quick. Sleep shirt. <laughs> Not a morning person. I'm a morning person and a late at night person. I'm not a middle of the day person. And that's really true. This one had been marked down. I've got tags for 21. It started out as a compare at $38 to $18.99 to $14.99. And I paid probably maybe 60, 70 cents for it. It's cute though. It's got the little Butterfly sleeve. This one, a diva. It's just got the cute little look and the undershirt. And this one is a fishing t shirt. It's about time. For people to start buying those, I think that's an XL or a 2X. And then it, this one looks new, it feels new. I may sell it as new as it appears to be. Control brand, don't know these brands, probably should, don't, don't have time to know some of them. So. Bohemian style again. Sleeve. It's a pretty chocolatey brown. And a little upper shirt. Exhilaration bathing suit cover up again. This shirt I probably at least keep for a while. It's a granny shirt and it's got the word GG on it. See it over there? My babies call me Gigi. Mario. Mario sales. This one is medium. Disney sales. Ariel. Another shirt I may keep for a while. It says, Southern girls don't stand for gossip. We sit down and get comfy. <laughs> it's a color I love. I love that. For summertime. This one. It's a Fruit of the Loom XL. This one's the Coke Zero, and it's got the side panel, like the uh, textured side panel, and it is, what does it say, get a grip, got the grip sides, stuff like that'll sell. Batman, Batman will sell, here and there, and of course it's Under Armour. Or the heat gear, as they say. Heat gear. <clears throat> mm, Hurley. I have sold Hurley shirts here and there. That's one of two. I've got another one in here. Just a cute little top.
if they're Disney or sell, even if it's faded, if it's Mickey, he'll sell. Fit. This looks like brand new. I don't know if it is. I don't see any snags readily on it. I don't remember any on it. It's fitted. It's a nice, nice piece. Karen Kane XL. This is like the two layer. I don't know if you can see it comes here and it bubbles at the waist and then it's fitted like over the hips. A pretty sleeve. Fancy schmancy. Maybe. A lot of times I'll wear something like this if it's a dressy uh, square dance type of thing, rodeo dance or whatever. I'll wear a rodeo skirt and um, like the concho belt or whatever and wear something like this and then something up over it. You have to get creative. I buy all of my stuff from the thrift store for dancing. That way you can wear it a little while, get tired of it and re-donate it by something else. This one, Day Trip. Cute. Um, let's see how is this made. I cannot remember. I think it's gathered. It's like ruched at the back. You can see that. Real colorful. This one almost feels like cashmere. It's acrylic. It's marked acrylic, but it feels almost like a cashmere. It's really, really soft, very feminine, pretty. It front. You can heat this, you know, where it gets kind of wiggly. You can heat that a lot of times if you lay it out, you get it wet, and then you dry it with a hair dryer as you're pulling like that. A lot of times that'll get that bump out. A lot of people don't care. But this got like the little faux rhinestones down the front, if you can see it. Little rhinestones. Layer basics All over shirt crocheted Kato. Like I said, I almost always buy the little bit bigger sizes of Kato. This one's only a large, but it has a good pattern to it. And things. Another Kato. Decent shave, it's nothing fancy. You know, looking at eight dollars, something like that. But I've got, you know, nothing in it. Fifty cents. One of the peekaboo sleeve type tops. Little knit. Polyester knit tops. I buy a lot of the vintage gowns and things like that. This one is Wendy Rose from the Philippines, and it's a size small. Let's see if I can. It's very pretty. Feminine, and it's a maxi. It flares, kind of flares at the bottom. I'm probably looking at around, realistically, around 20. 22, like that. Yeah. I buy McDonald's, Coke, there's certain types of the polos that I'll buy, these sell. It's in good shape. It feels new. But it's actually the cocoa cocoa. I'm tired. You can't imagine my Coca-Cola tag logo. Probably a manager or something more, I don't know. This is Worthington. This is another type of thing that I would wear at square dancing a lot of times if it was a 
like a New Year's Eve dance or something like that with a long black skirt. And you can see me all food. Of course, my hair would have to be done. I clean up okay. I still buy all year long. I buy the Christmas sweaters and Christmas vests. And this has got the Father Christmas and stuff on it, so I feel like that'll probably sell pretty well. It's a little bit different. And this was another one I'll probably end up keeping. It's one of the Southern Chicks. It's the flip-flop. <laughs> the glass slipper of the South. Course, we barely wear flip flops a lot of the times we're barefoot down here this is just a little over shirt it's got a kind of a little bit of the boho look but it's a larger one so I thought I'd go and pick it up it's probably I don't know maybe 30 40 cents in it this one is very large and it is very stretched out, but I went on and bought it because the Ashley Stewart and the larger, I can usually sell those pretty well. And this is a really large one, and it's adjustable up here. And it's the handkerchief style top. I'm almost done. Hmm, let's see. Where are you? Got a tag because I just saw you a minute ago. I'll probably never find it, so let's not waste time. This one is another larger size. It's got the pointed handkerchief bottom, handkerchief hemline. That'll sell. I don't buy a lot of shorts, but I do buy some, and if I do, they're usually the larger ones. These are a 16W, it's just faded glory. But I'll probably lot up two or three, you know, that are similar, same, same size, maybe a denim pair and this pair or whatever, and do kind of a lot of four or something like that. This is the other Hurley shirt I got. Just plain tee, soft tee. And last but not least. I found an Iron Maiden. And this was wrapped around some of that marvelous glass that everybody thinks that these won't sell. <laughs> and so they wrap up the glass vases and the china and things like that that nobody's buying. And so I go through and I take all the t-shirts off. And I found Muhammad Ali boxing ones. I've found Tyson boxing ones. I've found concert t-shirts, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, there's the back of it. That's a cool shirt. See the bottom of it? I don't think I want to sleep with that in my room, though. <laughs> but that's all I've got today. Both of those were a long video, and I apologize for that. I tried to go pretty fast, but I haven't made any haul videos in a while, so that's kind of got me caught up just a little bit. Hope everybody's doing well that everybody is surviving all of this snow and sleet if you got that anywhere and if you didn't then count your blessings <laughs> hope everybody's doing uh, great on eBay, Etsy or wherever it is that you're listing thank you for joining me today happy junkin hey. science alert, science alert. <laughs> what? Uh, it's a oh it's my kind of bird a junk o <laughs> He flew away. My bottle tree's covered. <laughs> Tracy took an extra day off of work yesterday, so he's actually up at a decent hour. Everybody's trying to be careful because Mama's got iffy back, and Tracy is still healing from iffy ankle, and children are children and you see where I am up I'm, I'm up on the porch <laughs> I 
I guess it helped that the children slept with their pajamas on backwards and spoons underneath their pillows because we got about four inches here in the south. I was supposed to have an estate sale tomorrow. It got rolled to the next weekend. Happy junkin'.